Hello everyone, welcome to another lesson and this is Math 6, quarter 1, week 4 and we are now talking about decimals and um, it will be about addition and subtraction. Alright, so what exactly is a decimal? A decimal is a number that uses a decimal point and place value to show tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. Nasa pangalan lang. Decimal. Edi may decimal point. Examples of this are uh, three, 3 and 1 tenths. So, since uh, isang decimal place lang, so, babanggitin mo yung huling decimal place. So, 1 tenth lang. So, 3 and 1 tenths. The next one is 10 and 15 hundredths. Hundreds na ang huli mong binanggit dahil nandun na siya sa pangalawang decimal place. So, unang decimal place is tenths. Huling decimal place nito is hundreds. Kaya, pagbabasahin natin yung number, that's 10 and 15 hundreds. Next one is 6 and 4,075 Oh, no, sorry, 6 and 475 thousands. So, yung decimal, yung last decimal place ay babanggitin ulit. So, since nasa thousands place na, um, you would say this is 6 and 475 thousands. And then, the last one is 2,895 ten thousands. So, how do you usually add or subtract whole numbers? Whole numbers muna. So, tignan nga natin with this example. We have, um, right, 2,134 plus 345. Pinakamagandang gawin, if you add these numbers, ay arrange in column. Pareho dito sa ginawa ko. Arrange in column. Okay, dapat naka-align yung ones, tens, hundreds, and so on. And then, pag nag-add na tayo, magsimula sa kanan. So, that would be 4 plus 5 is 9. 3 plus 4 is 7. 1 plus 3 is 4. And then, bring down 2. So, ang sagot natin is 2,479. Now, how do we add or subtract? Decimals. Now, bago ko sagutan yan, sagutin yan, let's have this example. Right? We have this example. What is the answer in uh, 435 thousands plus 211 thousands? Right? The same way with whole number, kailangan arrange natin in column. Okay, ang kaibahan lang is dapat naka-align ang decimal. So, yun lang kaibahan nun kasi may decimal. So, align natin ang decimal, right? And then, magsimula tayo sa pinakakanan. Pareho lang din sa whole number. Nagsimula sa ones, di ba? Pinakakanan yun. So, dito, ganun din. Magsimula tayo sa pinakakanan. Okay, so first one is 5 plus 1. That would be 6. And then next is... Again, 3 plus 1 is 4. And then the next one is 4 plus 2, that would be 6. And then the last one is yung dalawang 0 lang. So, this is just 0. And then, ang kaibahan lang dito is you need to affix the decimal point. Dapat nakaka-align lang din directly below sa decimal point ng dalawang addends mo. Okay? Next one, we have what is 2 and 3,759 ten decreased by 25 hundreds. Now, eto ngayon is subtraction. Kaya lang, pareho lang din ang gagawin. Rearrange -re natin in column. So, 2.3759 minus 0.25. Now, kung um, nakita nyo, may blanko dun sa katabi ng 0.25. So, dagdagan natin ng dalawang zero yan para pantay na ang decimal places. And then, saka tayo mag minus. So, 9 minus 0, e di 9 lang din. Then, 5 minus 0 is 9. 7 minus 5 is uh, 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. And then, 2 minus 0 is 2. So, ang kaibahan lang dito is meron kang decimal point. 
Yun lang ha. Another one. What is the sum when 23 and 1 hundredths plus 11 hundredths is added to the difference between 96 and 75 hundredths and 13 and 42 hundredths? Now, um, tatlo ang gagawin natin dito. Add muna natin yung unang dalawa and then i-minus yung hiling dalawa. Bago natin i-add ang results ng dalawang operation. So, step 1. Okay, unahin muna natin to. 23 and 1 hundredths plus 11 hundredths. So, sagot natin would be, okay, dagdagan ng decimal point dapat. So, 23 and 12 hundredths. So, hindi dapat makalimutan ang decimal point. And then, the next one will be yung difference ng dalawa. So, that would be 96.75 minus 13.42. Okay. And then, be sure na sa sagot, nandun din ang decimal point. So, sang, sa, ang sagot lang natin dito is 83 and 33 hundredths. Now, the last step is, add mo na yung dalawa. Kasi ang hanap is the sum of the results of the two operations. Diba? So, add natin yung 23 and 12 hundredths at saka 83 and 33 hundredths. Again, arrange in column. Be sure na naka-align ang decimal points. And then, add from the right. So, ang sagot nito is 106 and 45 Hundreds. Okay? Now, yung una natin mga ginagawa ay walang mga regrouping. So, with this uh, next example, check natin kung paano gawin. Okay, what is the answer in 953 thousands plus 768 thousands? Again, arrange natin in column, align the decimal points. And then, go ahead and... Um, Add from the right. So, start tayo dito. So, 3 plus 8, sumobra. It is actually 11, kaya lagay natin yung 1 dito, and then carry 1. Kasi 11 eh. And then, we'll go on to the next place value. So, 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 6 that is 12. Again, sumobra, isulat natin ang 2 lang, and then carry 1. And then, dito naman tayo sa place value na to. So, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 7, that is just 17. So, again, 7, carry 1. And then, the last place value is yung 1's place na. So, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is just 1. So, yung sagot natin, dapat may decimal point. So, final answer is 1.721. right? Now, what is 8.5 decreased by 3.8751? Okay, again, arrange in column. Okay, and then, make sure na naka-align yung decimal point. Naka-align naman yung decimal point natin. And then, may blanco sa taas. May blankong 3 spaces. Kaya, lagyan natin dapat ng, ayan, 3 zeros. And then, saka tayo mag-minus. Kaya lang, Okay, um, 0 minus 1 is kulang, 0 minus 5, ganun din, 0 minus 7, ganun din, and 5 minus 8, ganun din, kulang. So, manghihiram tayo kahit sa 8 at saka sa 5. Okay, so, this time, yung 0 ay magiging 10 na to kasi nasa huli naman siya. And then, this one is 9, 9, and this one now is 14 dahil manghiram din tayo sa 8. At ang 8 ay magiging 7. So, pwede na tayong mag-minus. So, 10 minus 1, that is just 9. Okay, so, and then, um, whole answer pala is 4.6249. Okay? Next one, this is uh, 55.67 plus 11.9532. Idagdag natin sa difference ng 84.89 and 32.456. So, unahin muna natin yung dal unang dalawa. I-add natin. Step 1. So, 55.67. Add natin yung 11.9532. So, again, 
Lagay mo lang siya, i-arrange mo lang siya in column, and then yung decimal point dapat naka-align. Right? Now, since may dalawang place value na blanco, dagdagan natin ng 0. Um, habol dyan is para hindi kayo malito. Okay? So, 0 plus 2, this is 2, and then 3. Okay? And then, 7 plus 5 is 12, so you have 2, carry 1. And then, 1 plus 6 plus 9, this is 16. So, this is 6, carry 1 ulit. And then, 1 plus 5 plus 1 is 7. And then, 5 plus 1 is 6. And then, final answer, lagyan natin ng decimal point. Alright? And then, for step 2, okay, yung dalawa naman ang yung minus natin. So, 84 and 89 hundredths minus 32 and 456 thousands. Right? Meron na namang blanco na space. So, dagdagan natin ng 0. And then, let's go ahead and do the subtraction. Kaya lang, 0 minus 6, kulang siya. So, dapat manghiram tayo sa 9. So, ngayon, ang 0 ay magiging 10 at ang 9 ay magiging 8. So, 10 minus 6, we have 4. 8 minus 5 is 3. 8 minus 4 is 4. And 4 minus 2 is 2. And then, 8 minus 3 is 5. And then, sagot natin dapat may decimal point. Okay? Binaba lang natin yan ha. Naka-align lang. Okay? And then, step 3. Okay? I-add na natin yung results ng dalawa. So, 67.6232 plus 52.434. Again, may blank space. Dagdagan natin ng 0. And then, add na natin. So, this is 2, 7, 5, and then 6 plus 4 is 10. So, this will be 0, carry 1. And then, 1 plus 7 plus 2 is 10 ulit. So, 0, carry 1. And then, six, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 5, that is 12. So, final answer is 120 and 5,072, 10,000. Alright? How do we add or subtract decimals? So, balikan natin yung tanong natin. So, paano ba? Okay? So, sa mga examples natin, una natin ginawa is arrange the digits in column and then align the decimal points. Yun ang paulit-ulit kong sinabi. And then, after that, yung naka-arrange na sila, okay, insert zeros kung meron mang empty decimal place value. Dapat lagyan ng zero. And then, add or subtract the same way with um, whole numbers. So, kung paano natin ginawa ang whole numbers, ganun lang din ang gagawin. And then, kung kailangan mag-carry over or manghiram, gawin din. So, that is what it, uh, it means with regroup if needed. And then, finally, lagyan ng decimal point. And that is just exactly below the decimal point of the addend or the subtrahend. Kinokopya mo lang siya, dapat naka-align. Alright?